Hey there, Chad Bonja here for Ohio University Libraries. The BA 470 students are currently working on analyzing Under Armour and the sports apparel market. So this video is going to show them some of the basic tools that are needed to research this company and this market. So here you go. So one of the best places to start is with OneSource. And when you get to OneSource, you want to click one more time to get into the actual database. And once you're in, uh, you'll research for Under Armour. and do a search there. Uh, this will give you, since Under Armour is a public company, will give you a lot of good information on the left hand side including you know, SWOT analysis, analyst reports, strategic initiatives, lots of financial information, things like that. Okay, so you get a good place to look for just general company information there. If you want to analyze the industry, you can actually go in and choose apparel and accessories. And that will take you in here where you have all these different kind of industry reports uh, in here. So we have, you know, various market research reports and things like that. So typically what I like to do, uh, my favorite reports in here are these Fredonia focus reports. So we'll click there. And you'll notice that there is a report in here uh, from our athletic apparel, which kind of is the market that uh, uh, Under Armour is in. So here we have a nice, uh, nice size report here that will cover uh, things such as the industry overview, trends, forecasts, uh, things like that. So a great place to start there with um, uh, one source. The next place to look will be uh, Mintel Oxygen and if you haven't done so you want to create a personal profile here with them just use your Ohio email address and whatever password you want to to be able to access it and you'll get a confirmation email to that'll let you get into the database. I'm just going to log in as me here and I'm going to sign in here and I found good information just by going up and typing in um, uh, sports apparel and doing a search there and found some good stuff on fitness clothing, athletic shoes, marketing, sports enthusiasts, things like that. So here's one for fitness clothing from last fall and you can kind of see what kind of things it talks about. Over there on the left hand side, perception of reasonable price, attitudes towards fitness clothing, uh, things marketing strategies, leading companies, so they're bound to talk about Under Armour and other companies in there, things like that. So these reports are average about 100 pages in length, so a great place to look for information on the uh, fitness clothing market. And you'll find other stuff in there as well under the retail and apparel there'll be stuff in there um, to look for related reports under, under there as well. Another good place for company and industry information is Standard & Poor's Net Advantage. If you just go here and do the simple search and we will search for Under Armour there. And once you search here you have all kinds of information on the left hand side including a, a nice stock report here, which will give you uh, basically a PDF uh, an analysis, about 10 pages or so of the company. Okay, and then you go under, you have these industry surveys down here, which are good to look at as well. And basically, they put uh, Under Armour into apparel and footwear retailers and brands, and these uh, update every six months or so. Uh, but it talks about how the industry operates, industry trends, key ratios, statistics, and these typically average about 35 pages or so in length. So, uh, so nice. Uh, information you can find there. So not necessarily just sporting um, apparel but worthwhile looking at compared to um, and, and look at how Under Armour is doing compared to other uh, apparel and um, clothing companies as well. Another place I recommend looking is uh, SBRnet and this is one of the key databases to look at when you're researching sports participation, sports, sporting goods, things like that. And so what you can do is go down and look at um, there's a link here to sporting goods and this basically takes you into consumer expenditure information by, um, by apparel and things like that. So if you're looking at you know, tennis apparel, um, if you're looking at sports logo apparel, things like that, you can go in and, and, and limit to, to things like that. So um, let's see, here is, uh, let's go under tennis, for example, to give you some information here. And this will basically give you information for how many people buy tennis shoes, tennis rackets, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So a good way to get an overall analysis of what, where the market's been, uh, where it's going, things like that, and, and information for some of the, some of the key uh, buyers and information as well there. You might also find the search box convenient here under the full text article search. So if we just go in and search for Under Armour, and you'll notice that it limits just only to 2012. You do it, you can go in and limit by date there. So we want all articles from 
you know, maybe the past uh, four years or so. We can do that and do search. And this will bring up uh, articles about uh, Under Armour uh, from SBRNet. So here you see uh, some information that will come up that way. And most of it will be available uh, in full text, um, things like that. So give you, you know, some quick information about, about the company and things like that. So and this one here actually talks about market dynamics and stuff like that. So it might be worth, worth looking at. The uh, final place I recommend looking is uh, Business Source Complete, and I typically like to look at this one last because if you don't, otherwise you're just staring at a blank uh, blank page with a search box on it. See so if we can go and search for Under Armour and get 352 articles about Under Armour, or we can just go in and look at you know sports apparel and something like consumers or, or fitness or something like that. And let's just do that and see what we get. And you can see. Uh, You get some good information that that way as well. So, so you can play around with the search there to get good articles that will fill in some of the questions that uh, are are left after you've looked at uh, the other resources that I've mentioned in this video. Hopefully, this helps you get a better understanding of Under Armour and the sports apparel, sports fitness market. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. We'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.